Oh, it's really stretchy for you guys. Step back, you were right. Okay, loads of new objects. Glowy candles. New lot type. Create a haunted house. Ooh, okay, we can do like a reading, like a crystal ball. A seance! You can summon a goat. New career, paranormal investigator. So the thing was possessed, the doll was possessed. Nice new object. We don't care about that. <laughs> investigate the paranormal. January 26th, okay, it's this month, it's this month. Okay, and we've got this little link to learn more. Okay, I'm gonna open that in another tab. Wait, wait, go back, go back. Wait, is it turned into? Let me make sure I see if it's turned into a thingy now. A vod. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And now, now we're gonna pick everything apart. Your st screen got stuck. No, it's okay. We're gonna go back. So, uh, new fireplace. It's it's kind of a bit garish. However. Little plants in jars. We're always here for plants in jars. We are, okay, I'm gonna mute this now so I can put my own music back on. Um, we're always here for plants in jars, so I love that. This table looks new as well. Okay, and a new bookcase. And look, little beads over the window. Cute, 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 cute. It's just a stuff pack and not game pack. Yeah, but it has a career, so you know, it's kind of cool. So she just be vibing and then she's haunted. This looks new. We got some new pictures, some new little lights and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So, look at this. Like a little a spooky doll. I like the candles and stuff. I like the candles. It has a bit of like a Day of the Dead kind of vibe to it. Um, these are the candles. These are like dead spooky. Is that a new bed? I think that's, is that a new bed? I think so. Whenever I do these packs, I'm always like, is that new? I don't know, I only use CC, so is it new? Is it not? I don't know. Like these, another plant. Okay, so some new furniture. I don't really use in-game furniture that much, although I've started to use it a little bit more recently. Uh, the doll does look like it belongs in Coraline, it does. That doll needs to be Maya's, I know, right? I feel like she would actually love this pack. The first candle's a base game. Really? Oh my gosh, I'm so useless, aren't I? Okay, um, this wallpaper, however, that looks new. That looks new. Some new ruggings, maybe as well. So, okay, these are the candles. These are like spooky candles. I like this. And these are all like thingies to walk through. I wonder if when they go through, they'll like do this. You know, because when you walk through those, you don't just bash your face into them and let them get stuck in your hair, do you? You kind of like, you, you have to do this with them. So I wonder if they'll add that animation. They don't always add animations, um, but it would be cool. I like this chair. I love this. I really like this. Um, it gives me Bonnie from the Vampire Diaries vibes. I feel that, I feel that. There's some little cushionings on here. I, I bet they'll come with the chair. Um, is this new? This kind of like cabinet thing. This is kind of cute. I like this as well. I like anything with plants and glass, I'm just there for. I feel like this is new. This is cute. I like that a lot. There's the hand there as well. Look at that. Bit of a um, reference to the Adams family, maybe. Okay. And then there they are all vibing out. Wait, did, how did she get through the thing? Oh, I don't think it's going to show us. Yeah, she's already there. I want to see if they push through. So you can create a haunted house to live in. We might have to upgrade the Vampire Legacy Challenge to have a haunted house vibe because we've got a whole graveyard. What is this? You see this? Who that? Who that? Who that right there? Another new plant maybe? 
I'm trying to work out where everything is. These are like the little ghosties. This is something doing a vibe over here as well. Um, okay. That's the ghost. Oh, look at this. This is like a hand growing up the ground. Can I see anything else new? Nah, no, that exists. Okay, so it's not a huge... There's, there is some new stuff. I like this. So it seems like you know how when you're on um, Island Living, you get like spirits in your house. I think it's going to be the same thing. I don't know how much interaction with them we'll be able to have, but oh, another creepy doll. Love this. This is like, um, it's kind of, it's got a bit of a dream catcher vibe, but it's not a dream catcher. I just like things like that. I think they're cute. Cute vibes. Uh, your cat is watching. I love that. Um, is that a cow plant in a glass jar? Oh my gosh, it is. It's a little tiny cow plant. Good spot. That right there is a little, uh, it's a little cow plant, isn't it? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I can make that smaller so it's not as annoying for you guys. There we go. Um, okay. I like this wallpaper a lot. I think that's really, really cute. I like that. Uh, what else we got? She do be looking shocked though. Yeah, it's definitely a cow plant. And then... <gasps> so, this guy with the hat on, he's like... So him, look, he's got a hat on. That is purple, purple ass wall. There's a little thing there. And then when they do the seance, look, it's him. Am I saying seance right? I don't know. Um, but look, he appears. So I don't know if there's gonna be specific ghosts that appear based on certain paintings or if that they've just done that so it looks similar. But they've basically um, used a seance to summon Johnny Depp. Um, okay. This looks new. That's cute. I like that. I like these like whist mystical witchy things. I just like them. It's Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> um, so, okay. They've gone. I like this little top. Um, they've gone ahead and summoned him. And then can they see him or can only she see them? I don't know. But this is the little table. So you do like a reading, which I think is kind of cute. I like that. We had a crystal ball when we did the witches um, gameplay, right? We downloaded it as like mod CC, so there we go. This will go well with vampires. I think so as well. I think so as well. Oh guys, thank you so much for the 12 sub train. Sorry you didn't notice that. I will get around to reading your messages, don't worry. <gasps> 13 sub train, unlucky for some. Boho spooky vibe. Yeah, I like that vibe a lot. It reminds me of like, you know those cute little like shops that you get in like like brooklyn and they sell like the little sage burning sage thing and like um all the different color candles and i love that i'm i'm there for that i'm very much there for that um so you do a little flow if you're doing the seance i think it's him doing it i feel almost like it's um they're in on it together and he's like adding the spookiness to the seance and afterwards they'll like high five because she's just pocketed a load of money from them Surely all sims know about ghosts by now, but maybe not. This is new. It's a little kettle thing with a little plant on it. I like that. There is a face in the magic ball. Oh, don't say that. That's creepy. <laughs> oh, there is. But that's different. That's um, that's a different face to that, guys. You see the face? Ooh, ooh. I get a shiver down my spine when I see faces. Yeah, it's a scum business. It's a scum business. <laughs> So look, yeah, she's peeking to see if they're sufficiently spooked and he's like, yeah, I think they're in it together. I genuinely think they're in it together. And now everyone's just being spooked by the spooky house. And he's like, <laughs> um, and yeah, she's like, woo. So this, there's the, the creepy hand. Oh, is it like the hand that has all the things on it? Where like, if you massage like a certain part of your hand, it's meant to do something to a certain part of your body kind of thing. It feels like that. It has that energy about it. Haunted mansion is shook. Um, I wonder what this is and this. I don't know if they're just atmosphere vibes. Paranormal investigator sounds cool. So look, these guys are being haunted. She comes and she does this. And using this, I think it helps her like identify. She's like drawing a circle in salt. Supernatural vibes. She's basically Dean Winchestered up in this house. This, obviously, this doll probably contains a lock of hair from the person that's haunting them. This is the goths. The goths are being haunted. Oh my gosh, Cassandra Goth is in the next Not So Berry, by the way. I won't spoil anything, but she's in there. So yeah, this lock, this doll probably has a lock of hair. Burn it, 
Take it outside and burn it. That's what you've got to do. Winchester's been knowing this stuff. Winchester's been knowing. She's just kicked it. That ain't going to do nothing. She is a very junior paranormal investigator. It looks like it is an open career. So if you want to become a hunter, like in Supernatural, you can do. You actually can do, which I think is really cool. I'm here for it. I like, I like paranormal stuff. I do like paranormal stuff. Salt and burn, baby. Salt and burn. We know. If, you, if you're if you a supernatural fan, you know. You know, don't you? Um, and then she, like, did they, did they give her a present as a thank you? Or is she presenting something to the ghost? I think she's, like, appeasing the spirits. This looks like ectoplasm goo that she's, like, wiping up off the floor. And she's also chit-chatting with Grim. <laughs> They've been watching my Vampire Legacy Challenge. <gasps> Bone Hilda! Oh, there she is. Oh, so Bone Hilda is like a maid. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Ooh, look, a jar of sweets and some little, little cuteness down here. Another doll. Another one of these little cute things. And look at this closet. How creepy is... Oh, you guys can't see it. Um, look, you see in the closet, there's like a little spooky face. Ooh, scary vibes. Uh, but yeah, Bone Hilda's in the background there. There's also one here too. Um, and is that little cabinet again? Huh, okay. So is Bone Hilda like a free maid for your house? I don't know. Oh, that's the door. That's the chest. Cow plant. I know that uh, Plumbella and Simsy, little Simsy are gonna be very happy because the cow plant and Plumbella got feet, uh, and uh, Bone Hilda are there. Investigate the paranormal. So haunted hands, haunted trees, haunted dolls. Haunted boobs, haunted um, sweets, a ghost in a jar. Oh my gosh, I literally have a ghost in a jar as a part of CC. And this weird like goblet and that little, it's like an Egyptian thing as well. Um, can I have kids with Bone Holder? Oof, can I add it to our mystical motherhood? He's like, uh, ooh, do you see that? Watch this. Uh, we don't care about cast items lol. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I've missed it again. Okay, give me a sec, give me a sec. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Do you see that these, like, before it turns to words, they were like little runes, like uh, Artemis Fall. I liked that. Um, And he's doing a dance. He's doing the dance because he's about to die. He's doing the death dance, but he's already dead. Okay, let's, uh, let's, oh, 404. Good job, EA. We love that. Things, we oh, jeez. Things we love to see. Um, does this link not work? There we go, it's working now. So, Sims 4 Paranormal Park manifests soon. Prepare yourself for some scary, fun times. Uh, beware, Simmers, something new is happening before your very eyes. Available 26, 2021. Welcome to your Sims' new home. Sure, the listing said haunted, but everyone knows that's just a myth. Why would you believe that? At night, though, well, the lights flicker overhead, casting a shadow at your Sims' feet. In another room, a door slams shut. Ooh, poltergeist vibes. Even though nobody is at home. And what was that sound? Where is it coming from? Oh, they need to make me do their trailers, honestly. This is getting weird. So it turns out there are some rumors that turn out to be true. Ooh, double use of turn in a sentence there. We hate that. These spooky specters moved in first and they don't let anyone forget it. Um, spook vibes. Mysterious runes and clay hands appear randomly while crawling vines sprout in the yard. Clay hands. Oh, so it's not like a, it's not like the little hand from the, uh, <laughs> from the Adams family. Uh, this sacred candle your sim lit for safety blows out with barely a wisp of smoke. And no one knows where that horrifying doll came from. As the house gets weirder and weirder, goosebumps rise and scared sims scatter in a panic-induced terror. Luckily, your sims doesn't have to deal with this alone. There is one helpful friend here to help. Claude Wren Duplantia Gaudry, the ghost. That appears, uh, this somewhat flirty apparition often off offers the secret to serenity. Under his tutelage, learn how to appease the spectres, ruining a good night's sleep. Is this the ghost? Is it him? We'll mod him. We'll make him real sexy. Sexy ghost. Some spectres are playful, others are mischievous, and a few are downright ornery. I don't know what that word means. I'm too stupid for that one. 
Bad tempered or difficult to deal with. Thank you, Google. They leave cursed objects behind, try to tidy them up and remove them. Offer gifts and attempt to communicate with the spectres to try and please them. If they're satisfied, Sims might get a present in return as their spectre fades away. Otherwise, it's time to turn to the seance table. Seance, seance. Seance serves a way to communicate with the world beyond. Perform a seance to sense the mood of the spectres. Commune with the dead and, and complete a ghastly ritual. Plus, Sims can summon Gidri. Gudri? Gudri? I don't know. Um, for extra help. Or summon Bone Hilda, the skeleton made for a spot of cleaning. Love that. Doing so builds a skin's medium, medium skill. So not just being a medium person. You know, you're not great. You're not bad. You're just medium. As in like the medium skill of like being able to commune with the dead. Um, do be careful not to go ghost yourself though. Ooh. Ooh, if you talk to the dead too much, can you become one of them? Love that. Then for me, if there's a skill, there needs to be a payoff. Vampire, burn in the sun, and you um, car. You have to continuously drink human blood. If you commune with the dead, I feel like, you know, if you continually walk through the veil between the living and the dead, you can get stuck behind those curtains. I like the idea. You guys like the idea of sexy ghosts. <laughs> Once a ghost overcomes their fear and restores balance to their home, once the sim overcomes their fear, restores bonds to the home and masters the paranormal, Gidri the ghost presents a converted paranormal investigator license. Ah! So to become a paranormal investigator, your sim like has to clear up their home first and then they become a ghost hunter. No, a ghost tracker, ghost buster. You ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah. Uh, pick up for gigs as a freelance paranormal investigator and help other sims experiencing haunting phenomena and make a few simulodians while you're at it. So that sounds pretty cool. I, I've, I know not everyone's gonna love it. Should we do a little poll? I like stuff to do with spooky, weird, like dead ghost stuff. Wow, almost dropped, almost water. Um, I like spooky, weird stuff. So I like this pack. Do you like the spooks pack? Yay or nay? This is the poll that we always do be doing. Let's do a good old five minute. Give you guys a chance to consider your answer. There's no rush to answer. Um, Yeah, what do you guys think? Shall I play the little trailer for you guys again? Crude themes. Oh my gosh. There's what? Wait, I'll do it here. I, I, crude themes is a bit rich. Crude humor, sexual themes. I don't think so, but okay. Uh, what do you guys think? It's in the meh category. It's a nice little tidying us over park. For me, it feels like we're getting really close to Sims 5. Like. We gotta be close to Sims 5 now, right? If you're not into sp- Wait, why didn't they release this at Halloween, you know? That would have been a whole vibe. That would have been a whole vibe. You can't see the poll. It should be- it should be on your screens now. Um, what are your CCIs called and what website are they from? Um, they're on Patreon. The creator is Gopols Me, and they are the G11 eyes. I believe they're free now as well, so you should be able to download them. Sims 5 comes this year or in 2022? Yeah, I feel like they've exhausted everything and I feel like a building from the ground up on Sims 5 with a little bit more focus on like interaction and moods, a little bit more of an in-depth gameplay rather than shallow gameplay that you need mods for, I would really appreciate in Sims 5. Uh, the, oh my gosh, I could make a list of things that I'd really want in Sims 5 to be honest. Claire, it's not so very gonna be posted today. It is, there is gonna be a not so very today. It's, uh, there are some sad themes in today's Not So Berry though. So yeah. What are the eye highlights that you use and where do you find them in game? I use the Pixis, I believe, eye highlights and they appear on piercings. So there we go. Okay. <laughs> Straight up into another video. I'm gonna switch back to my big old face. Hi there gang, hi hi hi. Uh, what's the eye shine call that you add on? I think it's the Pixis eye shine add on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna after we've done this poll to see whether you guys like it or not. I'm gonna see if you guys are, how many you guys actually want to buy it because that is like a that is definitely a whole different vibe. I'm gonna catch up with some of y'all guys' messages that I've been missing in the chat. Um, so gaming gem, thank you so much for the bits. You should play Stardew Valley with Lil Simsy. Is Lil Simsy playing Stardew Valley at the moment? That is really cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, Jamba MD, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Peaches. Kayla Beer, thank you so much for gifting us up. Please make sure you say thank you in the chat. 
And, oh wow, a little burp. <laughs> and also, uh, welcome to Squad New Peachy. Thank you so much for gifting them. Simmeriz, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Peachies. Please welcome Simmeriz in the chat. We've got Crunchy Bear 100. Can't wait for this pack to come out. Thank you so much for the bits. I'm glad you're excited about the pack. Hope, fun, love. Thank you so, so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Peachies. Also, Cassie to Sassy. Thank you also so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Peachies as well. Crunchy Bear, thank you also for gifting another sub there. Welcome to squad please make sure you say thank you to crunchy bear in the chat autumn rain thank you so so much for the bits bone hill to the mid skeleton is my uh fave feature in the past sims games in the past games you can buy an item and cast it in build mode and she comes with that ah. see i don't know if i'm just hallucinating in this but i seem to remember from a sims game on playstation 2 that you could buy like a little tree and you would get like a monkey butler or like a gorilla and he would come down and like clean your house and he lived in a tree I don't know if I'm hallucinating this, but I seem to remember that. Um, Ella Bella B, thank you so, so much for the bits there. Clocks, thank you so, so much for subscribing. And also, Altered Pixels, thank you guys both for subscribing. Please welcome Clocks and Altered Pixels to the Peaches, please. What a little tea sub trade, thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. And we're on 88 new Peaches today. We are so close to our target of 100, which is awesome. Thank you for the hydrate. I don't think it was Sims 2 Castaway. Because it was Sims on PlayStation 2. I played Sims on PlayStation 2 as well. Um, and it had like a story mode to it, which I really liked. And you had to complete challenges. When you completed them all, it would move you into a new house. And the house you started in was like all full of trash and you had to like clear it up. I love that. I wish Sims had a story mode. I know it's fun. Sims console. Yeah, I loved it. I know it's like um, fun to make your own stories in sims and i obviously love doing that i've been doing that for freaking years um but i really like when it sets out a bit of a story to it and then you add it a little bit to yourself as well i really love that what about patchy i've actually oh thank you for the posture check i was doing terrible posture there i need to i feel like i really need to like i need ali to come down and he like needs my back and it pushes my oh, my shoulders back and it feels so much better um i like having a bit of a challenge and a bit of a story to the game and I just think it makes it more fun. I, do, I like the sandboxing, but I also like the story elements. Esme Sky, thank you so much for the six months. I love you so, so much, Claire. Hope, um, I've been having a really rough time this year, but you've helped me get through. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm shaking my chair. I've got a bit of anxiety today. Um, so sorry if it's really annoying in the background. But you've helped me through that. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you so much for being here for half a year, Esme. That is awesome. Um, okay, 85% of you guys like the spooks, which I love. That is amazing. Um, however... Will you buy the pack? Yay, nay, or uh, wait for sale? I want to know, because this is I want to know if you're busy. Sorry, it always reminds me of that. Um, because it, there's a big difference, isn't there, between like actually um, buying the pack, uh, actually liking the pack and buying the pack. They do be two different things. So um, I'm kind of interested to know. I'm interested to know what you guys do be thinking. Um, I'm in the Game Changers program, so I get the pucks, um, I get the pucks through that. So, if we play with it, I'll probably just put a little thing on the beginning of the screen. So I don't buy the pucks, um, I get them through that. Um, I'll see if I can get some for giveaway, actually, that would be really cool. Would I buy the pack outside of that? I don't know. I don't know if it's like, once you've done it once, there's not much replayability. Ah. Uh. I was never much of a completionist, like I only ever really bought the packs that I thought I wanted to play with. And um, I think I I would probably be down for giving this a go because it's uh, it's like there's not been any new packs in a while and I'd probably want to spice up my gameplay a little bit. Also, like I said, I like paranormal. I like the idea of being a hunter like Sam and Dean. So I'd quite like to make a hunter and do the pack like that. So that could be kind of fun. I kind of want to make a female hunter spe specifically for this pack. I think that would be really fun. I kind of want to do that now. <laughs> Maybe that's what we do today. Um, yeah, I want to make like a hunt of energy because that would be kind of fun. Wayward Sisters vibe. I, what is, is that is that different? Well, I don't know what Wayward Sisters is. When you say wayward, all I think about is Carry on my wayward son. And that just makes me think of Supernatural. It's a Supernatural spin-off. Oh my gosh, what? I didn't know they did a spin-off. Buffy. Oh my gosh, yes. Buffy energy. Buffy energy. 
Maya should be a ghost hunter, but I don't think vampires would ever involve themselves in like eliminating ghosts. I feel like they wouldn't kill their own, their own, like their own occult vibes. I don't know. Um, Crunchy Bear, thank you so much for the bits. Do you have any advice on making an off the grid house in Sims? Uh, candles are gonna be your friend. Um, I don't, I haven't done a great deal of them, but yeah, candles, that's what I would say. There's been too much Sims. There has been a lot of Sims recently. The spin-off didn't get picked up. Oh, no way. Oh, that sucks. That does suck. That would have been fun. They could kill the ghosts of their victims. Yeah, it would stop them from going around the house, which would actually be true. Oh, uh, there was an episode called We Were Sisters Supernatural. See, I think that way of introducing series is really bad um, because when you're watching it, you're watching it for Sam Dean and Supernatural. That so they do an episode of like a whole different set of people, you're just not gonna care. It's like when they did in, oh my gosh, what show was it? Was it in Gossip Girl where they tried to like bait you into the idea of watching a show about a young Lily? But they did it as an episode in Gossip Girl, and it's like, why do it like that? I don't, I hate that way of introducing Pucks. Pucks. Uh, TV series. I just think it's a really stupid way of doing it. I bet. Yeah. Um, definitely want to get rid of the ghosts in the vampire challenge. I just need to release them all to Netherworld, don't I? Uh, Malin, uh, Mal... Malay Stalgard. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for being here for five months. Hope you're doing awesome. Did the reveal happen already? It did. It did. Uh, we just went ahead and had a little look through it. It, um, it looks pretty cool. How many of you guys actually want to buy it though? You guys are thinking wait for the sale. I see you. I see you. That's a fair tactic. That is a fair tactic. Uh, Hitch. Hilditch Leon, thank you so much for subscribing to your Switch Prime. Welcome to the Peaches. Welcome, welcome, welcome. They did that with the originals, which I thought was quite good. Yeah, but they also used the original characters in uh, Vampire Dice for a long time, and they started to become more interesting. Like, Cla compare Klaus to boring ass Stefan. Which one would you watch? Which one would you watch a show about? You're gonna watch Klaus every time. Every single time. Nobody is gonna tune into a show on Stefan moping around with his beautifully, like, sculpted jaw being miserable. No one's gonna watch that. Nobody's gonna watch that. We're gonna watch Klaus kill folks all day long. Every time. Every time. Elena was boring too. Yes, she was. Um, but she did have beautiful hair. So, you know, we'll forgive her for that. I, like, literally, me with my, like, four strands of hair used to watch Elena and stare at her hair and be like, why can't that be me? I was just so desperate to have her hair. Lol. Um, but yeah, Klaus or Damon? <sighs> Probably Klaus. I, t I like a bad boy. Not in real life, but in games and TV shows, we like a bad boy. Um, Julie M, thank you so much for subscribing with your Switch Prime. Welcome to the Peaches. Thank you so much. Please can we welcome Julie into the fold. And you guys, 56% of you want to wait for the sale. 24% of you say nay, and 19% of you say yay. I think going for a supernatural stuff pack was always going to be um, quite quite rogue, isn't it? It's quite a daring move, but I'm glad that people who like supernatural have their fix. Do stuff packs go on sales? I used to, so I didn't used to buy my games through Origin. I used to go to like those websites that sell keys in bundles. That's how I used to get my games. Ali is a soft boy. Ali's a very soft boy. Um, have we started yet? I don't know. We're just chatting. We're just chatting away. Cause I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to make a hunter and make this haunted house for the 26th? Or do I just want to play Minecraft? Let's see what you guys fancy doing. I know we said Vampire Challenge, but I have been really rinsing that recently. We could play that s tomorrow. I'm playing Among Us. Okay, let me give you guys three options then. Vampire Legacy Challenge. Or um, make a Hunter for New Pack. Um, or Minecraft. Um, okay, we'll give you guys three minutes to vote on this poll. Um, Draco falls in love with a ghost. Mother kicks him out. He's getting kicked out anyway. He can fall in love with whoever he wants, but he just can't kill Riku again. Just stop killing him. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. 
I'll, I'll probably, when the new part comes out, we'll build a haunted house. We will build a haunted house. Um, but we, it's not out till the 26th. We might get it before. We might get it before. Oh my gosh, sorry, my nose is really running. My cold is almost gone. I took a lemon sip and two cold and flu tablets this morning. And I didn't feel as bad when I woke up this morning, so that's nice. Maybe the hunter should be a manning because we don't often make boys on stream. We don't. I'm terrible. I definitely have a massive bias towards um, making girls in Sims. I can't help it. Boys are pretty. Like I'm not even gonna lie. You know what I'm like. I'm full. I'm full shrimp. Full saltwater shrimp. Um, but I love making girls in cast because they're just so pretty. <laughs> girls are pretty. Girls are beautiful. We do be simping for girls here. You're reading Death No. Oh my gosh, I made Ali watch that. He really liked it. Uh, I do miss Minecraft, I can't lie. A married pair of ghost hunters. Ooh. I like that energy. I like that energy. Um, I shrimp for all women. I just be shrimping for all folks. Got a pretty face and I'm probably gonna shrimp. Thank you, posture check. I was being terrible again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, um, we could always, if you guys don't fancy making a hunter today, we could, ooh, community gift. Oh, Chronically Witchy is gifting five tier one subs to the community. What? We are so close to 100 now. Chronically Witchy, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. Thank you so, so much, Chronically Witchy. Sending huge amount of love to you. If you were just gifted by Chronically Witchy, please make sure you say thank you in the chat and send a bunch of love their way. A bunch of love their way. Um, okay, you guys are thinking we make a new hunter for the park. Oh, we got a snack time as well. Did we get snack time? Five hydrates. Okay, I've definitely done the equivalent of five hydrates because look how far down I am. Um, but if we're doing snack time, um, we can definitely, definitely go ahead and do a little schnickety schnackety time. Okay, guys, we all have to get a little snack for the next part of the stream. So please, you have 60 seconds. Get your snacks now. I will get to one too. Okay, I got a yogurt. What did you guys get for snacks? What sneakity snacks did you guys get? I got a yogurt that went out of date last month. I kind of feel though, I don't care about, um, let's make Koji or Josh as a ghost hunter, so spicy miso. <laughs> I think Josh would be a terrible ghost hunter. I think he's too screamy and he always died first in, uh, in um, oh man, what was the game? Phasmophobia. However, I feel like Koji would actually be a really good ghost hunter because he, he's quite good at keeping a level head, isn't he? Um, I don't care about sell by dates. This, this is a bit drippy looking, but if the food smells okay to me, I don't care when it went out of date. I don't throw food out just because the date goes bad. I'll keep it until it's got fluff on it. <laughs> I'm very non-wasteful. I hate wastefulness. Hate it. You got a banana. Make Koji. I feel a bit weird making my friends in stream without asking them first. I don't know. I'm just not sure about... I'm not sure about that. I think if I'm making a hunter, I will make one because I like playing with one sim. Two sims is too much effort. Too much effort, man. Too much effort. Sweet and salty popcorn and coffee. Maybe the hunter will fall in love with one of their ghosties. That could be a whole vibe. Can you have babies with a ghost? I don't know. Maybe? Okay. You guys are saying a man hunter. I never make manins, so... We could do this. We could make a manin. Don't get food poisoning, Claire. The good news is it's quite hard to get food poisoning with uh, vegan food. Because we don't have dairy, we don't have eggs, we don't have... Um, we don't have... Meat, obviously. Well, how did I forget that one? And we also don't have fish, so it's quite hard to get food poisoning as a vegan. It's one of the benefits of being a vegan, actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna make one. Okay, let's let's get the show on the road then. So, um, okay, hunter, girl vibes, boy vibes. I'm not saying we have to make them male or female with that. I'm just thinking the vibes. What vibes are we going for? I'm going to go ahead and boot up my similarinos in the background. 
We haven't made a boy in ages, actually. I think I'm gonna vote boy. <laughs> I sometimes vote in my own polls. I'm gonna vote boy. Oh, my game's not booting. Oh no. Oh no. Game, what are you do? Oh! Game's crashed twice in a row. Okay, it's back, it's back, it's back. Okay, you guys are thinking girl. You're with me. We just like shrimping on girls. We do just like shrimping on girls. How is Evie? She actually just left her bed. Big sads. If she sticks around, she'll get this yogurt pot though, so. Be on you. Keep, keep, look alive, Evie. Look alive, Evie. Sim Balish, thank you so much for being here for seven months in a row. And a tier two. Love that. Love that so, so much. I'm gonna just set up uh, this little window here. Ready for some shrimps. Sim, 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 sims. Okay, and then game capture. Oh, okay, yeah, it's all set up and ready to go. Brilliant. There, I was just checking that word for you guys and it wasn't gonna keep going back to Chrome. Um, but we'll do it as a new game. She needs to turn on all of my shaders. Ba -ba -da. Sorry, I've got like 7 million settings I need to switch on first. I'm not going to put tint on because it doesn't really work very well in cast. But everything else can go on. Yeah. Oh, we could put tint on, but really gentle. No, I'll leave it off. Uh, no, I'll leave it off. Okay, we'll just do a gentle tint. There. Girl vibes is definitely winning right now. Um, how do you eat yogurt so fast? It takes me like 15 minutes. I don't know. I find it like super I don't I think I'm eating it that fast. I still got I still got quite a lot. These are the yogurts we always get. Little Alpro. I pro soy. Alpro soya yogurts. I actually don't know if they are soya, but they're yummy. Oh. Alpro is good, I know, right? I do be loving it. I do be loving a bit of Alpro. Yo plate is the best. What's yo plate? I've never heard that. I've never heard that. I want to know what it is now. Is that like another like yogurt brand? I don't know. Maybe if we're doing a hunter, we should go for like athletic build vibes. Strong, strong grill. Cause it's hard. If da Sam, uh, Sam and Dean make it look hard, you gotta be able to fight. Maybe we should go for like a boxer energy. Boxer energy. Your plan is dairy yogurt. Oh, well I can't eat that then, can I? I can't eat that. Okay, Evie. Show lucky day, babes. Beano, do you want this? If you want this, you gotta say hi to chat first, okay? <laughs> Come on. Yay. Say hi. Hello. Are you okay, little bum bum head? She's just staring at the yogurt, like, give me the yogurt. <laughs> it's their, like, treat getting the yogurt pot afterwards. Little baby. Are you okay, my love? Okay, here we go. There you have yogurt. There you go. Uh, enjoy. Claire, what tint do you use? Let me switch on my game so you can see. Oh no, that's not my game. This is my game. <laughs> okay, so I use this reshader called Bright. There's a setting called Tint and it's like a sepia. So I can put it really high or I can put it really low. For gameplay, I have it at about 0.4, but that's a lot for cast. Like if I, if I switch it like on and off. Oh, that screenshot. It's just like adds this very like red vibe. Um, so for cuss, it's better to go a little bit lower, like here. So you still see it a little bit, but not too much. I just like a really saturated game, almost like a fantasy-esque game. So yeah, that is uh, that is the vibe I go for. And this is the little starting sim it's given us, so we're just gonna take off everything. Good job. And there we go. Oh wait, top as well. 
This is the, the starting sim it's given me, just the EA sim. Although some of the EA sims I actually think are pretty good. They are pretty good. Okay. How did you fix the eye bug? I had to remove all of my custom eyes. For some reason, when I did a batch fix in Sims 4 Studio, what it did instead is made my eyes all go to... They all, instead of being on here, they all went on here. And that broke my game. So I had to remove all of my eyes. And then these are the eyes that I use for everybody. Um, it's the Gopal's Mi G11s. I need to fix these ones. Oh. Wait, yeah, okay, that one needs fixing because I've basically edited it myself to get rid of that line. I've talked about this last stream. I know I'm repeating myself, but um, however, yeah, these are the eyes that I use. I don't, I, I just forgot to do it with some, some of those ones, which is weird. I thought I'd done it with all of them. I love that eye color. I think they're really cool. So yeah, they're the eyes I use. I like them because they're quite realistic looking and um... I just think they're really pretty. And then I like layer up with um, these. Let me show you. These are the eye highlights you guys have mentioned before. This is the Pixis. Oh, let me just change my stream um, details, by the way. Edit stream info. Um, making our ghost hunter sim. Boom. So we'll switch officially to the Sims 4 now as well. Boom. Okay. So, um, yeah, these are the eye highlights that I used that I mentioned before. I layer them on. So I tend to go for like, um, I always do, I don't know if you, can, you can't see it very much on this eye color, but you see it's got those little like white dots underneath there. I start with that one and then I also do like a line across the eye, like here. I just, I love layering them on. However, this is on piercings and I feel like a hunter's probably gonna have a few piercings. So, um, I might end up losing some of these, but I'm gonna just bang a few on because I like doing that. Sorry, I'm now getting really distracted by eye highlights. But they're just so pretty. So yeah, this is Pixis. Pixis has a lot of like really cool um, overlay stuff that's gonna like change, um, change the way that like your sim looks just a little bit, like little changes, which I think are really cool. So if I go into skin details, um, here as well, like, oh, that's an actual, ah, that's the skin overlay. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. But, um, cause I know you guys always ask about my CC and I don't have a place where I link to you guys my CC cause it's against the creator terms and conditions. Um, face kit, here we go. So like, this is just like changing like little bits of a face. And it means that even if you use the same skin details, if you start uh, like overall skin details, if you start layering with this stuff, you're gonna just get like a different looking sim which I really like. So I do use a lot of this stuff and I really like it. I just like, yeah, like that. it's changing an eye shape and a lip shape. You guys probably know I like, there's a lip shape on here, I like that. I really like that lip shape. So yeah, these I use, um, I use quite a lot. So this sim is just the one that came with the game. Uh, <laughs> like I literally just opened this and this was the sim that was there. So I'm not necessarily saying we have to use this sim. Um, ANC Barden, thank you so much for being here for two months. Claire, my five kids love to watch you. Also, uh, love when you show the babies on stream. My youngest wants to tell you that we have Great Danes. And to let you know, she just turned seven back in December, right before Christmas. That's amazing. Hope you had an amazing seventh birthday. I, I love that you've got Great Danes, the biggest dog. Um, also, my, my brother's name is Dane, so <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, so. Um, this is just what we were kind of the what we were dealt with what we were given at the start um, And this is where the skin tone sits. I've like honestly this is really bad But I've not really played with the new skin tones because I have been using like uh, custom skin tones for so long But as you guys can see my custom skin tones don't actually appear in the game so um, You can't you can't like see my custom skin tones anymore I think they're still there, and if I like randomize enough, sometimes it goes onto them. Um, but yeah, in general, you you can't see my custom skin tones anymore, which is a big sad because although I love that EA have updated the skin tones, I actually still really preferred my custom skin tones. I would still use them every time, but like obviously, I can't I can't get to them, which is big sad. Um, but it is what it is. Never mind. Jeez. 
What was that skin then? That was like... Oh, it did one of these ones, didn't it? I was like, that looked really grey for a moment there. You think Sims 4 Studio has a fix for that? If it does, that will be really amazing. I downloaded the latest version of um, Sims 4 Studio and I did like a bunch of um, fixes, but I ended up breaking other parts of my game. So I'm going to just have to be careful. I'm going to just have to be careful. Not green. What kind of skin tone are we thinking, guy? What kind of skin tone are we thinking? And I can change from here as well, right? Oh, that's cool. See, this is how I, I thought it would come with. You know, when you go to makeup and you can do like all of this, I kind of thought the skin tones would do that. It's kind of a bit sad. You guys are saying olive warm. I've seen a lot of olives. What is, olive is a warm skin tone, right? So that would be on here. I would call that olive skinned. Would you guys recommend that for olive? I like doing this to them. Too dark, olive skin tone with Italian nose. Um, I could go for this one and change it on here. Cool skin, a bit less orange. <gasps> wow, I think that was my shader. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful because of my shader. Some skin tones just ain't really gonna work, are they? Maybe here? What do you guys think of that one? What shader? I use the bright shader. I use the uh, the bright shader. Okay. Um, face shape we've not really played with yet. You guys are suggesting a Roman nose. I'm gonna see if it has a starting nose that looks... Cause Roman, let me... Check on Roman nose. Oh, I put Roman rose, lol. Okay, yes. Okay, so let's. I like. I don't. I. I want to like completely change the like face shape from the um, you know the one that it just gives you. So I'm gonna. I just like switch. I like to change as much as I can because I don't like to like be handed a sim and it's like yes, this is your sim. I'm like no, I want to make my own sim. Okay, so I'm just gonna change her face shape and then we'll get we'll get stuck in on her nose. I also like to use some of my custom presets as well, as you guys know. Okay. Let me just bring our eyes forward a little bit. And I'm not saying we stick to the eye shape either. I haven't even got stuck into eye shapes yet. Um, so we will do. Okay. So, Roman nose shape. Oh, where's the... There we go, turny one. Is this a little bit more Roman nose shape vibes? Is this kind of what you guys were thinking? Oh, what's it done with the tip there? Can't do that, there we go. Nostrils up, nostrils down. Maybe a little bit up, like here. Her nose kind of looks like Annie's from Attack on Titan. I'm, oh, posture check, thank you. Um, I don't know enough about Attack on Titan, but I keep seeing it being mentioned. Have they just like released like a new series of it or something? Because I see you guys talking about it a lot. So like now I'm all like intrigued and whatnot. These eyes I now know don't work with genetics. So I'm kind of like a little bit more hesitant to use them.
Don't know if we want to go for a bit of a heavier eyelid. I find it so hard to like know how a sim's gonna look before I've um, put skin details on. But I'm not there yet, so I like a schmizy eye. Like, <laughs> looks like they're happy. Looks like they're happy all the time. These eyes look like yours, and you're loving it. I'm glad. If this is that, they got you've got pretty eyes. She's got pretty eyes. So, uh... oh, what the color? The color of them. This is just a color I was using to show at the beginning. But if you're enjoying having the uh, representation of the eye look like your sh your color, I could keep that. Sorry, I go quite quiet sometimes when I'm uh, making a sim. How about ears? I think we go for a bit of a bigger ear. Not a bit, not bigger would be that way, I guess. But like an ear that like kind of pokes out a little bit and is a little bit bigger. A bit like my own. <laughs> Claire, the nose bridge is usually more hooked and raised. Bridge is hooked and raised. Oops. I want to like move the brow, but not the nose. Let me just start that again. I don't. I see. Like, I feel like the Sims, the polygon count around the nose sometimes gets quite like, you know, like it. it it's doing like line, line, line. And I, I like to try and smooth this out, but the game is a little bit limiting in that way. See how it's doing like a straight line there? No one's face really has that many straight lines. Like human beings aren't made of straight lines. Um, but games characters are, because games characters have polygons. So I'm trying to like, uh, trying to change that. Okay, there we go. Is that a little bit more like the hooked raised bridge? Or oh, the, the do you say the bridge was lowered or? The bridge, like, sorry, I'm trying to like grab just the bridge and it's not really letting me. Uh, could you link the reshade that you use? Yeah, let me grab that for you. Sims for bright. I think it's called bright reshade, but sometimes I, I confuse it with the, the reshade. No, yeah, it is this one um, that I use on um, Skyrim. There we go. Sims are always symmetrical, which is really rare. Yeah, did you, um, did you guys do the filter on, um, on, is it on TikTok? That, like, shows your symmetry? My facial symmetry is really bad. My face is, like, not symmetrical at all in, like, any way, shape, or form. Uh, <laughs> so when I did that, my whole face was, like, the other way around. Um, uh, but, oh, you mean the color that looks like yours, Liv? Or oh, if you're enjoying having the eye color represented, we can keep that then. I don't know where to go. I, I kind of want, like, the nose to be more hooked, but the tip to be more narrow. But when I narrow the tip, I get the, um, I get this, which is not really what I'm trying to go for, because it's doing the straight lines thing again. Should the nose be a bit shorter as well, like a little bit higher up? How long do the fil should the filtrum be? Is that a long filtrum? I don't know. Is that a bit longer? Can I change my nostril size? Oh, I can't. Oh, maybe that's gonna change the tip shape a little bit. No. Let's go for somewhere in between, I think, with the nostrils, like, here. Okay, I have some custom lip shapes. I thought I downloaded a new one to try, but I can't see it, which is big sad. Let's try some of these. That's kind of cute. Oh, that's that one's cute with a little open. <laughs> I like that. Um, oh, butterfly lips. Maybe that was the new one I tried. Yeah, butterfly lips. Those are quite narrow if I make it a bit wider. 
But yeah, it's you know that lip shape where you have you don't have a strong Cupid's bow? That's kind of what the vibe is. You like how her nose looks. I still feel like her nose isn't right. Like, let me just double check the pictures again. I'll, I'll link you guys to the picture that I'm looking at. Hopefully that's gonna work. That's the kind of vibe. I can see a flat forehead. Maybe their chin's too small. I'm not gonna keep those lips, by the way, because I don't actually like them from the side. So a flat forehead. What is it that's... Is my chin too small? This music's well relaxing. And those lips are bugging me, so I'm just gonna change them. I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna definitely play with the shape a little bit. No, I actually don't know if I will do those lips. Hmm. Bigger bridge and higher bridge. Is the picture that the picture that I linked, is that what you guys were thinking? I'm trying to go for like I think it's spot on. Let's just look at that picture once more. See, I think her filtrum's longer. And her chin shape's different too. Bit more weighted down that way. It's hard as well without seeing them from the front because I can't really tell what her jaw's doing. It's doing like a lot of shadow here. I liked it more before. Does anybody else like spend this long like messing with their sims or is it just me? Why are her eyes red? What do you mean red? Her eyes shouldn't be looking red. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start messing with these lips because uh, I've been just sat with these lips for so long now. There's something about her face shape that I just... I don't like this half of her face. And I also need to make sure I'm not accidentally making a really big head because I have a really bad habit of doing that. I feel like I'm doing that. So I'm just gonna make her head a bit smaller again. Because if you make their heads too big, it just looks, they just look a bit too cartoony and I don't want her to look cartoony. Yeah, she's got a strong chin in the picture, right? So I want to make her, um, I want to make her chin stronger. But when I do that on the game, it ends up her head looks really big. Like, why does her head look so big for her body? I don't know. I don't know. I'm also, she's a hunter. So I'm gonna make her quite buff. Because she's gonna have to be really strong. She has to run and fight and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna give her a stronger body type. Actually, I'm gonna push this down and push this up. Because muscle on women doesn't look to me like muscle on men. Like if you look at like swimmers and boxers, their body type, it's not like super defined like men's is. It's just like bigger and stronger. So <gasps> new video is up. Yay, new not so very is up. Awesome. So you guys can go ahead and watch that if you like. There's just something about this face that isn't right for me, but I just, I can't figure it out. Okay, I'm going to put some skin details on. And then from there, we'll be able to have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a rework with her face when we get to it. She's also way too smiley, like you're meant to be a hunter. You're meant to look tough. Oh, it's because I didn't finish her lips, did I? I also haven't done her brows yet either. I want to make this bit rounder here, but without making the whole thing bigger. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm so behind on messages as well. Carly, thank you so much for being here for seven months in a row. Also, 
Uh, Coco Bits, thank you so much for being here for three months in a row. Three months of the peachy. Love you, Claire. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for hanging out for three months. Nadia loves Claire. Thank you so much for being here for seven months. I can't actually believe it's been seven months. I love you so incredibly much. You have no idea. I have no idea what I'd do without you. I've been struggling with school recently, but you've helped me so much. Thank you for being there for me for four years. Four years is amazing. Thank you so much. And Hannah Rose, thank you so much for being here for two months as well. Hope you've had a good two months. Okay, I feel like, um, for me, she's she's got, like, um, Italian or, like, like, uh, Southern European vibes. Southern European vibes. But I don't like to place real-life locations. Like, I know I do it, but I think for Sims, you know, they don't actually, they're not from our world. <laughs> they are not from our world, um, so we can have a little bit more fun and just, like, kind of do as we please with them a little bit more. Um, because they're Sims. At the end of the day, they kind of have blue skin if they want. They are free from some of the uh, some of the vibes we got going on, you know. I feel like her face is too long as well. I totally agree. You guys said make her a little bit more curvy too, like so I'm gonna curve her out a little bit. I know we talked about the uh, the smaller boobs all day today, but I'm gonna give her bigger boobly rubies because not many of my a lot of my Sims recently have had really smaller boobly rubes, so I'm gonna try for some bigger boobly rubes on her. Sorry, I like looking what the complete overlays look like sometimes, just to kind of like get an idea, see if I like them or not. But I'm not loving any of these. I'd rather build my own face. No, I'm scared to watch the not so very. Oh my gosh, did you see the thumbnail? Is that why he's there? Uh, is that why you're looking a bit scared to watch it? Understandable. I told you guys, I warned you, it was going to be a bit of a sad one. Hmm. I'm going to have to sort her eyebrows out, I think. She does have, uh, oh yeah, taller. I would like her to be a bit taller. I basically want, want her to just be like strong, strong hunter vibes. It's playing the um, Kai song. Wait, if I use these brows, I can make my brows thinner now, right? Do I grab the tail? Uh, how do I do it? You're streaming? Yeah. What cool things are you doing? Oh, we're making a similar Reno. But we've only just started. <laughs> I thought you may play Stardew, is that not gonna happen? Oh, I need to download all my mods for it. Oh, so, mods? Yeah. What the hell? I wanna mod my Stardew, so. That's sick. Look at jumping Lexi! She come jumps so everyone, hard! Oh. She'll go all quiet now when she's on stream. Oh. Hey, little bum bum head! Oh. Hey, little bum bum head! So let's mommy. me, so let's hey. mommy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hello, you! Hello, you! Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> What a baby! She is always really good on camera. How weird is that? She calms down, doesn't she? Say hi! Hello! Hello! Go see your sister! What time are we on? Why are, we, are you getting hungry? Nah, it's, they're getting hungry. Ah. Uh, yeah. Dinner time, girlies! Go on then, kids! Hmm. Happy Melody. Happy. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I'm no. being sucked into a black hole. Love you. Love you. Come on. <laughs> um. Okay. Sorry, I don't like those eyebrows. Don't worry. I'm just. I. I've. I think I've got a mod that lets me change the size of the eyebrows, but I can never remember how to do it. So I'm just like playing to try and like find it. But like, it lets me make thin eyebrows thick and thin and thick eyebrows thin. But like. This is just moving them up and down. I did it! I did it in the last episode, didn't I? Ali's beard is pretty thick at the moment. Um, I've done it. I did it when we were playing um, the Vampire Legacy Challenge. But I can't remember what I did. I can't remember what thing I pulled. Oh, jeez. Does that look better or worse? I just pulled a whole face. Oh, jeez, no. Her face is long though. She meant to look tough. She did definitely be looking tough. Brows, side profile and move the tail up and down. 
Thank you, Stacy. Okay, I just wanted to make these a bit thicker because I really like these eyebrows. These are new. These are the G11s. Um, and so I just really wanted to give them a go. <laughs> Her face isn't that long. It looks realistic to me. I agree, but it's when you compare it with the whole body. I don't know. She's starting to look like you. Hungry squirrel, I love that. I love that. Um, okay. Where is our skin details from? Did I, did I decide on some skin details or was I still just playing? Are you, I'm using these ones for now, okay. I like that because it gives Frex. I have to be careful because some of my skin details um, have boobly jubelers on them. <laughs> oh, that's just some eye bugs. <laughs> I'm still deciding guys. I'm still making my mind up. I've not made my mind up yet. Dia, you're seeing Dia vibes. Oh, it's the Dia skin. This is Dia. That's probably what you're seeing there. I really like this overlay from Gopal's Me. Overlay face one. It has a few different options. Um, I just, it, it's good as well if you're um, using a monolidded sim. I just really like that. I think that's a really nice skin overlay, but I'm not sure about what it's doing to her lips here. So I don't love it for this sim in particular. This is Goo Goo Overlay. Gives her like a few little freckles and stuff. I know it's a baby skin, but I like it. <laughs> that skin overlay is called Go Pulse Me Overlay Face Skin uh, Version 1. Bright blends as well. Hmm. Some of them are like going a little bit too strong on her. I like that one a lot. That's the problem. If I do that, can I like overlay her lips with something else? Is it gonna keep that little shadow at the side of them? It is. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I want her to look quite fierce and strong. Like, I want her to have like this strong hunter vibe about her. Like, I like it in TV shows when like women look tough. You know, they, they should look strong. Um, and I like it when they cast strong women, you know? I do like that. Because I'm watching Cobra Kai at the minute, and that's what- I'm only just started season two. But his daughter, I, I, I feel like she should look tougher, and when she's like punching, it's really soft. And I'm like, you know, she should be more fierce, you know? Um, okay. Plus, this is like a tough job, you know? This is a really tough job. So you've got to be pretty tough to do it. Okay, so we used her skin details from the bottom half, so I can use top half for lashes. Just having a play, see which ones I like. I usually quite like these ones, but I like them with less underneath. Okay, she do be looking strong. She do be looking strong. You watched, Co you finished Cobra Cry uh, two days ago, you need season four. See, I'm on um, season two. Yeah, his for me, his daughter, his daughter looks too soft to be like this super skilled karate sensei. She needs to look like a little bit tougher for me personally. But maybe I'm just being nitpicky. I like this, just like a little bit of color under the cheeks. People's faces have a bit of color to them, you know? And then I have a really nice overlay that I always use and I love it. This. So it just like adds, like it's called GS. I'm sorry, I don't have any more information than that for you guys, but it adds just like this layer of realism and I'm just so here for it. I really like it. Like you see that? It's just like giving her like paws and stuff. I think that looks really nice. And nose. So I want a nose overlay that is gonna have that Roman vibe, but from this, from the front. Hmm, which I don't feel like is any of those, to be honest. Hmm. 
hate when I can't get a nose that works. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I like that one. She's pretty, right? She's pretty. These eyes are my own edits of the G11 by Gopal's Me. I have them as defaults, but they aren't actually defaults. So, oh, this is a new eyelid overlay I got. All right, does that a bit of coolness to the center there? Okay, I like that as well. I like that as well. I keep looking over there because it looks different on stream for some reason. But it's helping me like do a few little edits and whatnot. Okay, she do be looking fierce. She do be looking fierce. Okay. Um. So we've got her skin details on. What did we want to do with her eyes? I've just kind of had these eyes on her. Um, we don't have to keep these eyes. I am kind of used to them now though. I only put these eyes on to show you guys um, the eye overlay that I was using, but I'm, I've kind of grown quite attached to them. I'm trying to find us some lips that look quite natural. What is the Sims ethnicity? I've not assigned her an ethnicity. I'm just, I'm just making her. She's just whatever you want it to be. Um. And I'm not like assigning her sexuality and stuff either. I'm just gonna play with her and like see what she naturally gravitates towards. And you know, she knows we'll figure it out kind of vibes. You can make her eyes really pale to show that she's got the sixth sense. That's quite cool. She'd be looking like my girlfriend. I love that. Your girlfriend's beautiful. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm not. I'm just playing with lips because I'm not actually finding any lips I like. Uh, I like these ones because they put the teeth through, but I just don't think it's the right look for her. But I love teethy lips. Any lips that add a bit of teeth, I'm here for. These are my usual go-to lips. Like these are the lips that I like putting on Sims. I wish these, all of this stuff worked and I could change the hue. Hmm. Maybe like these lips where it's a bit chapped. Uh, what are we doing? I missed it from the start. We're actually making a ghost hunter for the new park uh, that was announced, which is the paranormal stuff park. Um, so right now we're just having a play and making, ooh, this has teethies, uh, kind of just making our own sim, which could be a ghost hunter one day. Hmm, these are too glum. I don't feel like, I mean, if you can balance being a ghost hunter with being glum, then more power to you. But I wouldn't say it's the norm. What about these ones? You like her so far. I'm glad. I'm so glad you guys like her. Sorry, I've dropped behind on messages a bit again. Sorry about that. Um, did I get Nad Nadi's message? Nadi loves Nadia loves Claire. Thank you so much for for seven months. Um, I love you so incredibly, but much. I've have no idea what I would do without you. I've been struggling with school recently, but you've helped me so much. Thank you for being here for four years. I think I might have caught your four year message, but if not, hello. Um, Hannah Rose also, thank you so much for being here for two months. We've got Lolo, thank you so, so much for gifting a sub. Welcome to Squad New Peachy, please make sure you say thank you. And Kaitov, what was the Stardew Valley mod you tweeted about? My babe Seb looks fire. If you Google Stardew Valley anime mod, it replaces all of their character models. So cute, so cute. As soon as I saw Seb in that, I was like, whew. And Kaitov also, again, thank you so much. Abby from The Last of Us 2 vibes. Love that. You're getting some Abby vibes from her. Yeah, she. I think her face looks like she would be... Um, I'm muted. Can you guys hear me? Am I muted? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, you can't hear me. Um, you. I, I feel like she looks like she'd be nice and protective and kind. But yeah, if you messed with her, she will mess you up, you know? She will mess you up.
And we like that about her. I don't want to make her face bright red. She already got a lot of red going on. This is how she looks without any skin details. Uh, any thingies, by the way. That is how much of a difference my game makes. Which is, it kind of sucks for you guys, because if you ever download uh, my Sims, they're not going to look the same way that they do in my game. So I'm sorry about that. But I just, I can't not use a shader. I am definitely about that shader life, you know? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that looks really cool. Boom. You missed The Last of Us too. They were fun vibes. Girl Dean vibes. I can totally see that, you know? I can see that. What color eyes does Dean have? Doesn't he have blue eyes? I can see that. I can definitely see that. I like the lashes. Do I flex here though? Gotta be careful with the makeup because I don't want to like, um, I already got an eyelid overlay actually. I don't want to take from her look too much. I like that. Um, she looked wonderful with deep brown eyes. Green eyes. Dean's eyes are similar to hers now. I can check her with um, the deep brown eyes. I think it's on this real quick. No, here. Yeah, so that's with deep brown eyes. Ooh. That hits different. That looks really good. Uh, green eyes, you were asking, would be here. And that were that right there was the current eyes. I can do a mod. I'll just do a mod for eyes. Um, so a mod, <laughs> a poll. Uh, we can go dark brown. We can go um, bright green, or we can do what it is now, which is blue green mix. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I like all of them. This music is making you anxious. Uh, let's switch to the next one. This is quite chill. And actually guys, I might have to just dip for one sec because I really need a wee. So I'm gonna be back in one minute, okay? I always have to say hi to Bean when I come back in. <laughs> um, oh, what was I gonna say? I totally forgot actually. You like them all. Chair runs the stream. <laughs> Oh, it's close between dark brown and the blue-green mix. Let me show you both again. So blue-green mix now. The green was this one. So blue uh, mix. No, sorry. There's also that mix, which is kind of in between both. In fact, if you guys like brown and you also like blue-green mix, may I introduce you to brown-green mix? If I mean, these, if these end up tied, I'll go with this because this is in between. And that's really nice. So hydrate, thank you. That looks real nice. That looks real nice. That looks real nice. Like, you can't really go wrong with the girl. She's gonna look amazing, whatever you guys vote for. So I'm not too worried. So yeah, that will be brown. Mix. Tie. You guys have mentioned a heterochromia, but I actually don't have a heterochromia for this um, eye type. So the eyes would look completely different, like they're from two different... Um, like they just wouldn't match, unfortunately, and I have much less eyes now, because I narrowed it down to make my game just a bit easier to run. Ooh, you guys are really close to a tie. It's hard, because it's between these two. So like, okay, this... And this. I think because you guys were so close to a tie, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, let's look at some hair options. I'm kind of feeling dark hair, but we could also go for like a, I'm not gonna give her this hair. I just wanna know what she look, I, I just wanna show you guys how she look with different hair colors. Cause she actually really suits blonde. We could go for like a rogue hair type. I'm not saying this hair, don't worry. I'm just, I'm just showing you guys different colors. So blonde, rogue, dark, um, I mean, there's a lot of rogue colors we could go for. Or we could go for like a, cause she's a ghost hunter, we could go for like white ghost hair. And that would also work. You know, like almost as if like, you know, she can speak to the dead and 
she's got one foot in the door of death and that's why her hair is white. So we're gonna do again, a little poll. Hair color, uh, dark, blonde, bra um, bronze I guess. Uh, white, grey, ghost hair, or, um, like, what can I call colours that aren't hair colours? Like, like, what would I call this? Like, I'm just gonna call it rogue hair. <laughs> no, because then I think of the X-Men. Um, um, non-natural colours. And then we can have a like, we can do a further poll from there. Okay, there we go. You guys also like the idea of a shorter hair on her. This is how she looked with the shorter hair option. I'm kind of thinking maybe something tied back. You know, because she's like she's working. She's gonna need a hair tied back, whether it's long or short. Mm. I also have this like um, hair that you can change the front color of. I'm really, I don't know how to use these, like, I think I'm just a bit clueless when it comes to how to use this chunky thing. Because, like, where is the colour I'm meant to put with that? I just don't know where it is. <gasps> oh! Oh, so I could give her, like, a streak. But then, like, the rest of her hair could be dark. Oh! Wait, isn't that from the X-Men? Isn't that, like, an X-Men hair? That is cool, all right? I love that. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> now she does look like Rogue, I know, right? I just realized I forgot to put Ginger on there. I don't think she looks like a redhead, but my gosh, do I love red hair. Sorry, I'm just having a play now. <laughs> I'm just having a play. You guys like the grey ghosty hair. Okay, we'll either find a hair that we can put a ghost streak in it, and then we will do the second option, which is somewhere between dark and non-colour, non-naturals, or we will just go for straight up um, ghost hair. I like the idea of ghost hair. I think that's really cool. So these are all the hairs that we can do that with. So we can do it with that one too. Oh. What's happening here? It's a shame because that has badass. Um, we can do it with this one. <gasps> How sick does that look? What? I d I'm sorry if I'm like, like fun girl in a bit here, but I didn't realize I could do that. I did not realize I could do this with the hair. So I'm kind of like fully getting excited now. That looks so freaking cool. Is the music really loud? I'm sorry. There we go. How sick is that hair? Um, half and half. Tied back. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh, it's got a little fringe to it. That's the difference between those two. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> I, there's something about this hair though that just looks so freaking badass. Okay, if I I know I said we we're gonna tie it back, but like I can't not now because this is so amazing. Um, what color should we? If we do the white at the front, what color should the rest be? Um, so this is like the reddish color, dark brown, blonde. I think is gonna get lost personally, but I'll put the option in in case you guys want it. Uh, which other colors look good? So when I say dark brown, we, we can go black with that as well if you want. I'm just kind of going for that sort of look. I, I kind of like the red. I think the red's a whole freaking vibe personally, but uh, what other colors can I try? We could go like grays. That's kind of like, I don't know if it looks makes it look a bit too old though. Okay, I'll put pink in just cause you know, representing. Um, um, and put purple too. Okay. Unleash yourselves. Peachy Sasha, hello. Thank you so much for the bits. 
I, I love having more time to relax and enjoy your streams. You always put a smile on my face. I sent you a package, by the way. I wonder if you got it yet. Also, I think it would make some more sense to give her a wider waist with the type of ab train and she would do it. She's like, maybe a little bit more like this then. We'll bring her hips out a little. I also feel like if you uh, work out, you get a good butt. Like, she probably just has got a great butt. Let's face it. I like her. Uh... I like this hair. Wait, or was it one of these that I liked? I think it was like this reddish one. Or this, I feel like it was more of a natural. Oh man, which was the one that I had that I really liked? I can't remember. I love how she looks though. <gasps> I can't believe I figured that out. I can't believe it took me so long. Like, I feel so stupid that it took me so long, but now I'm gonna be using this all the time. Oh. Noob Noodle, thank you so, so much for the bits there. And also for subscribing and then also for gifting a sub. What absolute peak noodle behavior. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys are liking the idea of dark brown or reddish. Dark brown, just so you guys, if you haven't voted yet, you can have a nosy. Would be like these vibes, but I would probably go quite dark for the contrast. I love that. Like, um, you know, she's always had this connection with the supernatural. Maybe when she was a baby, like a ghost touched her hair, head here. And where it touched her head, the hair forever more never had any pigment, you know? She's exactly your type. I love that. Chelsea, thank you so much for being here for four months with your Twitch Prime. I appreciate that so much. Dark brown was a bit lighter. Something like here. Dark brown. Okay. Okay, I love how she's looking. She's actually looking so badass. Okay, uh, if we pierce her, we're not actually gonna be able to see the ear piercings, but should we go for any facial piercings? Um, okay, piercings. Should we go for um, nose, eyebrow, septum, lip, or what's this bit called? Oh man, what is this, what is this one called? Scars will do as well. Or maybe we give her scars as she starts becoming a hunter, I don't know. What is, what is this piercing called? Bridge, thank you. Okay. Because I feel like she needs one. She's She's got that vibe about her, which I love. Um, oh, look at the scarf, by the way. How cool is... Oh, it clips with her boobies. Ooh, we could get quite a lot of booby clippage if we're not careful. Um, I'm trying to think if it's a necklace that looks like it has like a deeper meaning. It's not that deep, bra. But it is, that's the thing. Claire, could you make her more scrawny? I feel like you always make them curvy. I feel like quite often when we do the um, Twitch help me with my sim, um, we, did I say septum and I didn't give it an option? No, I did do, septum is, I'll show you what a septum piercing looks like. I, I realize now you were asking what does a septum piercing look like, sorry. Uh, septum piercing is a piercing I used to have. Yeah, when we do Twitch makes our sims, we do tend to more or less always make curvy sims. Um, but she's meant to be tough. She's meant to be tough. That's a septum piercing. Um, yeah, that is a Oh, we got a hype train! Yay! That's awesome. Woo woo! <laughs> thank you guys so much. I didn't even realize. Ch uh, fit Fields HS, thank you for uh, being the hype train. Woo woo! What mod did you use to make homework easier in university for not so berry? I think I literally Googled easier homework. I think, or it might have been in the Better Schools mod. Um, Ellen Harmon, thank you so much for being on the hype train. Woo woo! WMM Masha, thank you so, so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Peaches. Spicy Misu, thank you so, so much for being on the hype train. Woo woo! That's your hair! Oh my gosh, your hair's badass then. Uh, a Griffiths, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Welcome to Squad New Peachy. Louise, thank you so much for being here for seven months. I can't believe it's been this long already. Loved every moment of it. I'm so glad. Jordan Moore, thank you so, so much for the bits. Um, I've been watching you since like 2017. Want to get 
Famous came out. I've watched the whole Sims series and pretty much every single video you've posted. I've only been a subscriber on here though for two months. I absolutely adore you and your content. Thank you for doing what you do. I'm so glad. Thank you. Scuttle, thank you so, so much for gifting a sub. Welcome to Squiddy Peachy on Bowtie X. Thank you so much for the one, two, three hundred bits. Thank you so much. You created me. You guys are either saying I am her or I'm crushing on her, which I love. <laughs> Okay, so you guys have voted for the septum piercing, which is this one right here. Um, I got a few different options. I'm kind of enjoying this on her. Although there's also like a really skinny septum piercing, which looks cute as well. And comes in a whole bunch of nice colors. So we could go like a little bit more low key. Like a goldy one. You won't really see it. Then I also feel like maybe the silvers catch your hair a little bit more. I think I might be bi. <laughs> Your sexual awakening via The Sims. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> what are we thinking? Are we thinking like um, the separated one or the full one? What are you guys thinking? What if you made a short? I feel like I've made quite a lot of my last sim short. I made the sim that we made for um, Star Wars short. I made the sim that we made for my vampire challenge short. I've done a lot of short sims. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to pull you guys again, I think. Separated or full ring. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think we should go for a taller sim this time. And let me check out where I'm at. We've got Field HS with the 100 bits as well. Oh, thank you guys so much for supporting the hype train now. We're on a seven sub train as well. Yay! Things that you love to see. This right here. She does have tall energy as well. I think she has tall energy. I just kind of feel that. Okay, you guys are going overwhelmingly separate. Perfect. Okay, let us move on to- I think I've gone a little bit overly wide with the hips. There. I feel like Dean would be very into her. I feel like she's a Dean. She's got, like, Dean attraction energy. I feel like he's- uh, she's his type. He went for these kind of girls, you know? Okay, what- I mean, I could be super lazy and just throw on my, like, Hunter Vibes outfits. I wonder if it'll come with any Ghost Hunter energy. Lol, Star Wars energy. Um, I have this really cool. I'm not going to put her in it, but I just want to see her in it. Because it looks, like, so awesome and I love it. <laughs> like, this kind of vibe. I mean, if I was going to go hunting um, ghosts, I probably would want to be pretty armored up. Um... However, it's kind of lazy. Um, we probably should try and make an outfit, right? So let's go for an outfit. Let's go for a top and bottom separate. But how, oh my gosh. Oh, what am I doing? It's because I'm doing an outfit. I keep zooming in on her for some reason. Okay, what kind of outfit should we give her it needs to be practical she's ghost hunting so i probably can't give her like a skirt or anything how cute is this by the way no it's not ghost energy vibes um oh you guys completed the hype train well done thank you to everyone that supported it. i appreciate you guys so so much and kelly cakes thank you also so much for subscribing welcome to the peaches please can we welcome and kelly cakes to the fold please okay um is there any... Hmm... You're thinking cargo pants. It might be easy if we do her pants first. Maybe we should do that. Oh man, do you see all the pants just disappeared then? Like... This kind of energy? I feel like I've got some that look a bit better than this. Yeah, here we go. Knew I did. Like, this kind of thing? Or is it a little bit too on the nose? Is it a bit too on the nose? Is it like... 
should it be more like this? Oh, why is this music so sad and like dainty? We're making a badass hunter. Come on. That's better. That's better. Uh, it's the summer iconic pants. I know, right? Um, I have some other cargo pants. Let me just find them real quick. Because I got... Oh my gosh, my posh is awful today. I also got these kind of like more slouchy ones. But I actually have like full on cargo pants. I feel like this song's gonna have a good drop. It's giving me that vibe. That is a Nike bomb. Uh, what do we got? Um, yeah, these. So like, it's less like a full on army camo, which I don't know if a hunter would wear, and more just like hunter energy without being uh, so on the nose. I feel like I've made a bum be a bit too big. There we go. If she was blonde, she would look a bit like Summer. I can kind of see that. How about leather? Ooh, a leather look. I'm there for that. Can you guys still hear the music, by the way? Ghost hunting in The Sims? Yep. Oh, why is that not shiny at all? What? Look, they're not shiny leather pants. Who took my shine? They're meant to be really shiny. I wonder if the hair's messing with it or something. But they are like not... You've got a posture check. Thank you. I need it. Oh, they are not shiny at all, are they? Oh, man. Since I didn't do my yogi bears this morning, I'm kind of vibing that I might do some yogi bears after I finish the stream. Okay, I'm just going to throw those on off and... Oh, you know what she needs. She needs big old hunter boots. Steel cupped. No nonsense. Nobody be messing with me kind of boots. Um, where's my faves at? Where are they? Seriously, where are they? Are they boys? <laughs> where have my favorite boots gone? I will actually cry if they're gone. There they are, oh my gosh, yes. Oof, got worried for a second there. Okay, these are my favorite boots because they just look like the most no-nonsense boots you've ever seen. Having the laces undone is actually a massive, like, risk. However, oh, they are clipping a bit with those. But those boots just look like no-nonsense no, no boots, don't they? So Ghost Hunter and Reddit as Vampire Hunter thought we were making Buffy for a second. <laughs> I loved Buffy. I wanted to be a Vampire Hunter because of Buffy. Anyone played Mirror's Edge? Oh my gosh, I loved Mirror's Edge. Uh, okay. What, how do we do a top half? Still trying to get the right vibes. Oh my gosh, I'm crushing on her. <laughs> as soon as I put that on, I was just like, oh no. Oh no, it's attractive. Um. I mean, that is fully badass, to be honest. We will give her some tattoos. Yes, we will give her some tattoos. You know we give her some tattoos. Um, I don't know if the, um, I don't know if the leather is a bit overdone. Like it's a bit cliche. Like, oh, look, a tough girl. She's wearing a leather jacket. Um, Where was the one you said? You guys said a flannel. Do I have any other flannels other than this one? I'm kind of also a bit bored of that flannel. I've used it so many times. I think even Sinclair has worn that. Did you guys say you can or can't hear the music, by the way? Sorry, I totally missed that. Because I'm like vibing out to the music and I can't even tell if you guys can hear it. Why are you creating me? <laughs> I like her with a crop top. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Do you have a worn sweater with holes in it? I think I do on my masculine clothes. Oh no, where is he just taking her pants off? Um, oh my gosh, my game literally can't even load everything in. What are you doing, 
game. This one's got spikies. Spiky jackets. It's pretty spiky, right? You guys is in love. Oh, we can put, we can do like, um, you guys saying put some bandages on her like she's injured. I like that. Um, I can't find the top I was looking for. It's like a ripped jumper. Seth wore it for a little while, but um, I can't find it. I'm honestly enjoying a crop on her. Or even just like a simple tee. Like, I like a crop on her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give me this girl in real life. <laughs> um, is there like bandage? Yeah, like she's had a got an injury. I love that for her. But I not I don't actually love that for her because that would actually be just terrible to actually have an injury. However, um, the aesthetic is there, you know. Who is the sim? <laughs> it's my ghost hunter. My ghost hunter sim. These don't work anymore. Big sad because she'd look badass with that. Um, stop doing such like basic music. I want like hypey, angry, mysterious music, you know? Um... Where was that one we had before that was all like epic? Was that one? Yeah, I want more songs like this, please. Um, you guys are saying the grey top on her, by the way. Did you prefer the grey top? I was trying to like find a color. Where is this top? Am I being blind? Hello, top. Hello. Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. I like the black one, but we can go- I See, I like the brown on her. I feel like this is just this whole, this whole like energy. I think that looks so nice. Um, okay. Oh no, why can't I tie this round her waist? Oh, I can't tell you how annoyed that makes me. Okay, I think we should move on to the tattoo portion of this simp session. Okay, what kind of tuts are we thinking? I'll go for the more defined tons, just because I really like that mod. But not if it messes with, ooh, are these new? Do I recognize these tattoos? Maybe I do. Why do tattoos move the sim? Doesn't that just really annoy you? What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna do a poll for tattoos. Sleeves slash sleeve only. Sleeve and chest. Um, small daintier tattoo. No tattoo. Um, oh, I can do just chest only. I don't know if I have any good ones that look like that though. Um, Skarnel, thank you so much for the wet two, three, four, five hundred goods. Sending you big, huge heart your way, Skarnel. Thank you so much for the love and support. I appreciate that so, so much. We also got Johnny D with the bits too. Thank you so much. You and Ali are awesome. Thank you. I happen to find Ali quite awesome as well. <laughs> what did you guys vote? You guys think in sleeve and chest. Does that count what she's got on now? Those tattoos look like arm hair. Oh my gosh, I can't unsee that now. Yeah, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> okay, um, let's keep searching. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Also, why do I have two of those tattoos? I don't know. That's, this song's annoying. The absolute bejesus out of me, I'm sorry. 
Moshi check, thank you! I needed that. I needed that, definitely. This one's kind of a vibe as well. Oh, that's a leg tattoo. Oh, hello. I just have when and Taz said my body tattooed. What of it? Oh, the eye flicks are here. Oh my gosh, why have I not been doing this? That makes so much more sense. Um, I'm really annoyed with myself for not doing that. Also, we might be able to put a little... Um, a little scarring on her face. You guys are saying arm and chest. Do you like the tattoo she's got on right now? A little no. I love a scar across the nose. Something about that is just so cute. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Some protection rune tattoos. Oh, that's what the brothers have, isn't it? They have that tattoo to make sure they can never be possessed. Um, I don't know if I have that tattoo, but that would actually make so much sense. I mean, these kind of have that. Let me just take off all of our other ones for a sec so we can check these ones out real quick. This, These ones, like that on the chest kind of looks like a protection. It gives me protection energy. Um, So that could work. But yeah, the whole point of the tattoos on Supernatural is to make sure that they can never get possessed by a demon, right? That's why they do that. Which makes a lot of sense. It is an occupational hazard. This one's cool. I like that one. They have rune tattoos on the Sims resource. I know, but I don't... I'm lazy. I don't want to quit out the game and go back. Ooh, those ones are pretty heavy. Um, seeing if I've got anything that fits the bill. I don't really think I do though. No, nothing else is really... What are you guys thinking? These ones are the ones I had before. I'm going to do a quick poll. Tattoo. Previous tattoo. Or this one. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I don't think I can go back and just get that exact tattoo. I'm trying to get it back. Okay. So that, that is the previous one. Or this. So there's two options there. She's got ladies tattooed next to her lady parts. Ooh, and it's got like a moon and a sun. It's got some kind of like little triangle. We can pretend that this is the tattoo that stops her from getting possessed. Let me know what you guys is thinking. Do you guys want to see how she looks without the thingies as well? There you go. This one. Okay, you guys like this tattoo. Boom! Okay, and then can I put a necklace on if she's like got a roll neck? Is it gonna go over the necklace? Stop playing this stupid noise in my ear song. Like, I've already told you off for that. Yes, okay. Again, I want something that looks like it has protection energy. Why are you creating me? Does it honestly look a lot like you? Claire, will you upload to her to the gallery? Um, yeah, I can do. Or I could give her a little bug. She can carry her like little steaks and her salt in there. Maybe we do. It looks really weirdly. It's like hanging off her though, isn't it? Um... This little black thing here, it looks like um, a certain stone that you can wear to like ward off, like, like collect bad energy. I can't remember what the stone's called. If you know in the chat, if you're a little bit witchy in the chat, we love that for you. What is the name of the stone that you wear, the black stone, um, that collects like bad energy? 
tourmaline. Boom. Tourmaline. I was thinking um, she could have a tourmaline necklace to try it. Because, you know, spirits do be angry. That can collect the bad energy, you know? Maybe that. Maybe that. Um, I love her. Is her nose roaming enough? Are we happy with her nose? Oh my gosh. I didn't expect it to end up this spicy, I've gotta say. I've gotta say, I've gotta say. Okay, I'm gonna just check we're happy with everything. Yay or nay. You love her nose. I love her nose as well. We're gonna decide on her name and stuff next. So let me know first if we're happy. 95%, that is a pretty good success rate. Right, I need fun names with a supernatural energy about them. Cause she was touched by a ghost when she was a kid, forget, forget. That's why she got the blonde in her hair. Uh, the white in her hair. Uh, what names are we thinking? I'm seeing Sienna thrown around. Sam, I love, I actually love that. And that's a nice little shout out to um, Supernatural. Lyra, I also love because I love his dark materials. Lyra, I like. Sam, I like. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Sam, Samanthas. I think that's really cool. Um, what else are we seeing? Sienna, I've seen come up a few times. Okay. Um, Lyra, Sam, Sienna. Alex is a good strong name and we can have a bit of fun with the spelling on that one as well. Uh, Alyssa Bree, thank you so much for six months. Love you, Claire, and thank you for all of your hard work lately. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we've got Anna. We've got, sorry, Alex. We've got Lyra. We've got, um, wait. <laughs> Sam, Lyra, Alex, Sienna. The final one I'm going to throw in is Kyra, um, because I feel like she's got Starbuck energy and um, I like Battlestar Galactica. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a poll for the names. Right, so, name. Uh, Alex, uh, Sienna, Sam, what were the other ones? Kyra, <gasps> what was the other one? Lyra. Oh wow, we got two very similar sounding ones there. Okay, I'll give you two guys two minutes. Let me know what you're thinking. Spicy Misu, thank you so much for the bit. Spicy Misu says Sam is such a cool shout out to Supernatural. I think that's a really nice way to like show that we are, um, we are kind of taking this as a bit of a Supernatural, based on the Supernatural series challenge. I really like that as well. I think that's really cool. And like, it's an if you know, you know kind of name. Like if you're into Supernatural, you're gonna be able to recognize that. And even if not, it's a really cool name. So I think that kind of works. I feel like the traits, we can give us some temporary ones, but I honestly feel like the pack's probably gonna come with some potentially. So we may change it. Like if there's one that gives you like a Supernatural trait, we'll change that, but we'll give her some in the meantime. Okay, a lot of you guys are voting for Lyra as well. So we could call her Sam Silvertongue as like a little bit of a nod to Lyra. Is she gonna be tall? She is tall. She's actually already set to higher than the standard. But look, let me show you. So there we go. She's already taller. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there we go. The packs barely ever come with new traits. I know that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Lyra Winchester. Why don't we? Uh, so why don't we just go all in and call her Winchester? No messing around. Let's just go some Winchester. Maybe she can be the little sister that they uh, that never got a feature in the series and they never knew they had. She can be a Winchester. I I say we just go all in. I say we just go all in. Like, we just, we just go for the Winchester name. <laughs> Ooh, she lost some of her flex when I gave her a piercing. Let me give you those back. I feel like not having ear piercings is actually such a good shout for a hunter because somebody could rip them out. Uh, a ghost could grab them and rip them, you know? There we go. 
she's so cute, right? She's so cute! She could be Sam's granddaughter. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so she's a Winchester. Her aspiration, see, I'm not sure if this stuff's gonna change, so I'm not sure, like, whether it's worth putting too much, like, into this. What is a good thing for her to learn? Extreme sports enthusiast. I actually didn't realize there was one for there. Uh, I wonder if the working out strong one would suit her. We can change these anytime. Like, I'm not too worried. Um, I don't know what to give her. Um, Star Wars. No. Purveyor of potions, curator, jungle explorer. It's kind of vibey. Uh, outdoor enthusiast. Uh, purveyor of potions, freelance botanist, angling ace. I really don't know. This bit's kind of hard. It doesn't matter that much, does it? I kind of feel like the athletic one makes sense. I'm going to give her the bodybuilder one. And then what traits should we give her? I think being tough, self-assured. These are confident sims. I think her being confident and strong is it Ooh, Lona. Lona's a good one. Lona's a good one. I've been blind. Lona. There we go. She's doing some posing for you guys. <laughs> oh, she's like a fashion model. Look at her go. Yes, queen. Oh, this is... I, I can't remember what this pose is, but I like it. She do be looking cute. Paranoid! Yeah, paranoid's a really good idea. Danger around every corner. They feel a sense of security hanging out in a basement. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Final poll for the day. Do you be simping though? I need to know. <laughs> uh, Amy Geddon, I feel like she suits Serafina, it means fiery one in Hebrew. Amy, that's so pretty. I love that name. Maybe we'll keep that for another series. And SS, SS Candle, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five. I got carried away because I started looking at some. Thank you so much for the 500 bits there. Appreciate that so, so much. Thank you. Shrimping. We are fully saltwater shrimps today. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna vote that I'm shrimping as well. Vote yes if you're a saltwater shrimp today. So I've given her the loner, the self-assured, and the paranoid traits. I love the animation for paranoid. I just I like that a lot. Ooh, let's listen to her voice. Say something. Oh my gosh, why are you so quiet? I'm trying to listen to your voice. I might go a bit lower. Do it again. Speak! Speak, woman! I want her to have like a honey voice, but like a low voice. Littered, melodic, sweet. No, let's go for clear. I don't get it, she's not talking. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna mute the music a sec because it's, I can't hear it and that's already annoying me. Charm. Hmm, bit. She'll leap quizzeb. Shlope pajelja. Meshka ya yumps. Kumau, Narga. Rebosa ishe. And I'm prep kid. No. Ah, Yabasani. Wissadib sarpava. Yeah, I think that. I think that's the voice. Do you like my sim? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see my sim? <laughs> um, has Claire said if she'll try Rust? It's I've been uh, got a few from stream. I they at uh, the party in Rust is already eight, so I can't join unfortunately. She's got a sexy voice. Listen. <gasps> Don't Langini Larey me. Yabasani. Ah, mm, I keep going lower. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. I think she's got a nice voice. It's the li lilted voice, and I've said it. You guys can't see. Should I, should I get rid of my face for a quick sec? Um, yes, yeah, so it's set quite low. 
that's the voice. That's the voice. Yeah, it would also be a not so peachy stream if we uh Holy Nine Mokosa. Oh my gosh. Yazef Gumau. Yazef Gumau. Is anybody just like saying what the Sims say over and over again? I hope they add some new aspirations and traits to the park because I would I do want to give her some new traits. I'd probably replace the paranoid or the self-assured if they did give us some new perks. Um Okay, Ali 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 Ali. Ali? Excuse me. It's like if Corpse was a girl. <laughs> Perfection. I'm so glad you guys like her. Um, okay, we'll get we'll get Ali to check her out. Here we go. Do you like her? That's sick. You think she's pretty? Yeah, she's cool. She's gonna be a ghost hunter. She's called Sam Winchester. Oh my gosh, I've literally named her Sam Winchester. I didn't realize I'd done that. What do you mean? <laughs> um, I meant to give her a nod to Supernatural, but I just went full Supernatural. That's literally the guy's name in Supernatural. Oh, really? <laughs> How did I not realize I'd done that? She's pretty, right? Yeah, she's really cool. Pretty. You're trying to make me say it's really pretty so you can get a nose ring. Oh yeah, because you made me... You didn't make me get rid of mine, but I did get rid of mine. Yeah. And uh, I want it back, but you're not 100% convinced, are you? I, I think I may have thrown away some Pokemon cards back. So oh no, big sad. Um, please get that um, yoga pot out of this room, thanks. Oh no, it's really sad. Lexi, take the yoga pot elsewhere. Like, good girl. On. She's just following Ali everywhere at the moment. Oh, it's no, really cute. <laughs> um, okay, and I think we're done with her. So, I, I <laughs> this sounds really dumb. I know I named her Sam, and then I named her Winchester, but I low key didn't realize I'd named her Sam Winchester. <laughs> I didn't realize I did that. I don't mind it though. I actually don't mind it. It's your choice, Ali. Uh, it's not your choice, Ali. Claire, Claire, you should do it. The thing is though, when you're in a relationship, if your partner is like, look, you can get this, but I'm just letting you know I don't, I don't love the idea, then you make compromises. If Ali was suddenly like, I just, I want to get this thing done, I'd be like, you know, it's your body, your choice, you do what you want. My personal preference is I don't love it. Then he'd take that into consideration. It's not like, I see a lot of people say this, like, oh, it's really controlling that Ali didn't like Claire, get a Septon Pearson. He's not not letting me. He just, I just know that he doesn't prefer them and I care about his opinion. So that's what, that's what it is. Please don't ever feel like Ali's controlling. He's definitely not controlling. He's very laid back. We're both very laid back. Um, you guys are thinking changing last name. Let, let me just, let me just, I'll do one final poll. I know I said I didn't for one final poll, so. Sam Winchester. I don't mind going full. Although I, I prefer Dean, but okay. Sam Winchester or Sam Silverton? Sam Silverton is actually a reference to his dark materials, um, which I love. So, Bailey, thank you so much for the bids. Could you do a boy for? Uh, if, could you do for a boy Seraphin? It means fierce, but it's also my boyfriend's name. Oh my gosh, your boyfriend has such a sick name, Bailey. Bailey's a cool name. Oh, you both got sick names. I love that. Dia Dina Winchester or Diane Winchester. I like that. Dina. <laughs> Maybe Diana. Diana go full Dean or Diana. I'm gonna be heading off soon as well. I'm actually gonna check who is streaming so that we can work out who to raid. Cause uh, we do be loving a bit of raiding. Oh. We do be loving a bit of raiding. Um, oh, Koji's online, Frey's online, Lex's online, Pasta's online. Oh, the whole gang's online. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay. Um, you are in love with her. Should I upload her on Wait, I'll get her name decided first. You guys are leaning towards Silvertum. I personally am going to vote for Winchester because I don't mind going all in. Um, and after we've done this one, I'll check who you guys want to raid and I will upload her to the gallery for you guys as well. This made me miss. Look alive, Dina! I know, right? <laughs> the next let's play I think I'll be doing of that is does anybody know when the new um should I get her to keep posing for you guys because uh should I do a different pose there we go I'll get her to keep posing because it's just a sight to behold um when is the new Mass Effect Remastered coming out because I'll definitely be playing through that and also I think there's a new Mass Effect game coming as well oh it could be in March so the next game like that that I think I'll probably play will be Mass Effect Remastered um because I love Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect like so freaking much. Um, I know some of the more recent reiterations of the game haven't been amazing, but it will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, so I think that will probably be the next game that I play. 
Good grief, I am so gay. I love that Leon, Leo and Stitch. <laughs> okay, you guys are saying silver tongue. Okay, some silver tongue. Silver tongue. Okay, so she's a bit like Constantine. Save the household, some silver tongue. Um, can I like change this picture? I do, there's meant to be some that do like portraits, but I can never get them to do them. Like, you know, like the ones where it's like really close up. I do have them installed, but they never pick them. So I'm gonna go for this one. So, um, touched by the undead at birth. Some has always been able to peek through, is that the right peek? No, it's not. Peek through the veil at the, um, peek through the veil and see what, what's going on in, in the land. Wait, peek. They've been able to peek through the veil and feel a spectral presence. Feel no, I'm trying to get the right way to describe her. Touch from the, uh, the by the undead at birth. Sam has always been able to peek through the veil and um, see the activities of those beyond the grave. Can she hone these skills? and tap into her paranormal, paranormal connection. Connection um, to become a ghost hunter. Boom, we've even got a little biography of my girl. I love her, I actually love her so, so much. Um, I'm gonna put her up as the gallery in case any of you guys wanna use that as well. I don't know what she'll look like without all of my shaders and CC and whatnot, but you guys can let me know. So there we go. She's on the gallery. Hi. <laughs> I like doing that just in case any of you guys are like super speedy at um, checking when things go online. Let me see if I can see her. Wait, wait, is she not there? I think I'd, I thought I just put her up. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? No, I did. <gasps> there she is! Hi from the stream! I wanted you guys to be able to see your little faces and little names if you were in the stream. There you go! <laughs> little shout out to you guys who jumped in. And ooh, le let me know how she looks without every um all of the skin details on. Okay, we're gonna do a final poll of the day, I promise. This time it's for the raid! Do we raid Lexi, Koji? Pasta, uh, Frey, uh, who else is streaming? Talia's not playing Rust, but I can suggest a Talia raid. She's playing Call of Duty, so it's whatever you guys want to see. Let's go ahead and get that underway. Uh, Sam Silverstone is on the gallery, and we're going to be playing with her on the 26th, which I'm super, super excited about. So that's going to be awesome. KTG, thank you so much for being here for seven months. That's crazy. I needed to come in at the end. Thank you so much for jumping in and saying hi. And thank you so much for the 114 new peaches today. We love to grow the peachy family. So thank you guys so, so much for that. I haven't given her anything for the other outfits. Um, and if you want this hair, this hair is by Anto. You need to download the chromatic collection to get it to work. Um, but it's amazing and I really, really recommend it. So yeah, hope, I'm glad you guys like it. You guys are suggesting a raid of pasta, which is pasta. Uh, let me make sure I'm getting her name right. In fact, I'm just gonna go on a stream real quick so I can grab her name, boom. Pasta Ravioli, please give her all the love in the world from myself. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys to bits. I'm so happy with the character that we've made together. Um, bye from me and the bean, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.